Make sure you guys stick around to the end of the video as I do have a little giveaway announcement. Nothing big, but it's something and you guys will like it. So while I was in New York a few weeks ago, my OnePlus 3 arrived and I have been using it nonstop since. The phone is a magnificent phone. And with that being said, I don't have my full review ready because I'm still using the phone, I'm still enjoying it but I wanted to give you guys something about the OnePlus 3. Now, Amazon is actually sponsoring this video, just throwing that out there as a disclaimer, so that way you guys don't freak out or anything like that. Now, with the Amazon Underground App Store, you have access to most of the apps that are found in the Google Play Store. Now, granted, it's not as big, but you still have a lot of the well-known apps. But what's really cool about the Underground App Store is the use of coins. So let's say there's a game in the Google Play Store that retails for $5.99. Well, with the Amazon App Store, it uses coins. So say you buy, um, I don't know, 10,000 coins at a time. Um, that's going to save you like 20 bucks in the long run every single time. So to install the Amazon Underground App Store, you actually have to go into your internet browser, do a Google search for the App Store, click on it, and then download the app. But before you try to install it, make sure you go into your settings and then go under your security preferences and enable the ability to install um, apps from unknown sources. If you don't do this, it's going to block the install and you're not gonna get any further. So make sure it's turned on install the app store, log into your Amazon account, and that's it. Some of the games that I'm playing are the Alien vs. Pinball game. Now, I love pinball, and I love Aliens, and I love Predator, and I actually use my coins to unlock the other pinball um, boards, so that way I didn't have to sit there and wait, I don't know, five years before I play enough to unlock everything. Next up, I am playing the Alien vs. Predator uh, Evolution, I believe it is. The game is something that I've pretty much put on every one of my Android phones just because it's a fun game. I just wish that it would actually save my progress because I'm getting tired of starting from uh, the first level every single time I get a new phone. Moving on, I have a shark hunting game. Really cheesy, extremely stupid, but a lot of fun. Next up, I'm playing Plague. Now this is a game from back in the day, it's like 99 cents, and it's all about strategy, planning, and patience. In Plague, you create a bacteria, a virus, you drop it in a country of your choice and just watch it spread. If you win, then the population on Earth will die. The last game I have is called Shadowgun. Now, Shadowgun is a free game in the Amazon Underground App Store, um, but normally it is a paid game. Now, I just got into it. I don't know too much about what's going on yet, but I do know the graphics in this game are really good. Now, the Chronos widget is a widget that is all about customization, but also giving you information that is useful. Now, Talon is a Twitter client that is all about customization. You can customize the colors, the font, the way your news feed or feed in general is displayed, whether you want small pictures, large pictures, the shape of the avatars, uh, so on and so forth. So even though Talon is my Twitter client of choice because of the reliability, I have been tinkering around with Flamingo and I absolutely love this app. I believe it was like two bucks. It's still in beta, but it's definitely worth the download. I use Textra on all of my Android devices it is, to me, the best SMS client out there. So moving on down, I have my email client of choice. It is Cloud Magic. Now, I've mentioned this before in the past. It's just a fantastic, probably the best email client out there. The killer feature is the fact that whenever you get a new phone or if you get a new Mac, you can actually just log into your Cloud Magic account and all your other accounts will sync, including your signatures and everything else that you've done. I like to try different photo editing um, applications because they're all different in one way or another. Even if it's just a very minute amount, um, take Avery for example. Avery is a photo editing app that is all about simplicity. So when you launch it and you want to edit a photo, everything is laid out and it's very plain, but it's very easy to access all of your options. Photo Director is similar to Avery in the sense that they offer a lot of the same tools, but Photo Director is a little bit more polished in the sense that it's more modern looking. So when you launch it, you have more of like a material look going on. And there are some in-app purchases that you can um, buy that will make the experience a little bit more unique to this specific app. So Photo Labs Pro is around six bucks and they do offer a free version. So if you don't wanna cough at the six bucks, you can actually try out their free version, but you won't have access to everything um, that you might see here. 
Now, Photo Labs Pro is not a photo editing application per se. For instance, if you guys saw the Instagram post I did a little bit ago where I turned myself into a hamster, that was done with Photo Labs Pro. Now, PixArt is a cross-platform application. It's not just about photo editing, it's about being part of a community. Something like Instagram, except more about um, the artists themselves. PixArt is also about digital artwork and some of the stuff that you find on there is just absolutely mind-blowing and it's just gorgeous. So my last photo editing app is my favorite photo editing app of all and it's called Snapseed. You can definitely have or create some um, amazing pictures using Snapseed and this is pretty much what I use 99% of the time. Now I do have a lot of like note-taking type applications on here and that's because I don't know which one I like the most. Evernote is really annoying, but I have like a love-hate relationship to it. So I tried OneNote. Now OneNote, I love the layout, but sometimes it just lags and I hate it. And then I have Google Keep for, you know, doing notes on the fly. And then I can go back and look at those notes and then bring them into OneNote or Evernote. Next up, I have Microsoft Excel. Now this is strictly for uh, my full-time job where, you know, I put on my big boy pants and I'm a therapist. Um, I view all of my reports that I get sent every morning with Microsoft Excel because this way everything is laid out much you know, nicer than using a third party application since all the documents are Excel documents. I have the Ecobee app which controls my thermostat which I did do a review on. You can find a little card up at the top. To go along with the whole smart home theme I have my Philips Hue app which sucks. It's I don't know hit and miss. but. Um, it controls the lights in my office and that's all I needed to do right now. Next I have the MyFox security application which is my security system that I'm currently using. I did a review on it and posted it last week. I absolutely love this security system because of the plans that it offers. Uh, check it out at the card at the top. Feedly is my RSS feed app of choice. I'm not going to get too much into it. I also use LastPass and LastPass I can't live without. It's on every single one of my electronics. I don't have the elephant memory that some of you guys have and I struggle sometimes remembering all the logins that I have and LastPass just simplifies that and it keeps everything nice and secure and it also does the um, auto fill in if I'm using an Android device like I am currently. Netflix and Spotify are the two multimedia apps that I keep on my phone. So one of the questions that I used to get asked all the time and still get asked is where do I get my wallpapers from? It's an app called Walls. You can actually download this in the Amazon App Store and use your coins to go pro so that way you have access to all their genres and there are a ton. Well guys that's it. That was how I made the OnePlus 3, the perfect device for you and me. As for the giveaway that I mentioned in the beginning, how about starting Monday or today, depending on when this video goes live, I will pick a random Twitter follower um, every single day this week and give that person um, coins from the Amazon Underground App Store so they can get their game on. So all you have to do is download the Amazon Underground App Store and then follow me on Twitter and I will pick a different Twitter follower every single day, all week long, and you'll get some coins so you can get your game on. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and drop me that big hand with a thumb sticking up. Leave me a comment and let me know what apps do you have on your OnePlus 3. And also, for God's sake, please let me know what note-taking app you guys use because it drives me crazy. Go ahead and follow me on all my social media connections. And of course, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Be easy.